Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and our video for today is all about Hello everyone, welcome back to my Sweetheart, Miss Universe doesn't have height requirements. You can be any height you want to be and be in Miss Universe. Absolutely. Guys, Miss Universe wants someone who is genuinely kind, who is nice, who's a role model, who's a boss lady, who's real, who's relatable. It has nothing to do with height. Miss Universe, once she lives in New York, she doesn't model. That's not her job. And by the way, that's why more girls don't make the top 20. Interview is important. You're a spokesperson. You're the face of the company. You have to speak, not model. Stop with the height stuff. Okay? Stop. Come and be a boss girl. You can win. humbled to be Australia's delegate in the Miss Universe competition this year and as part of that it means I have the opportunity to work for causes that I believe in. It's Wednesday in Australia but it's Tuesday somewhere in the world and it's Giving Day. Today is a day that we celebrate uniting in a worldwide act of generosity. It's not necessarily a monetary donation, it might not be a financial contribution if that's not within your means but when we talk about giving and Giving Day it's generosity beyond financial means. So in a year where we have been challenged, I think it's so important to be supporting organizations and people and initiatives that are thinking about creative ways that we can unite and still create safe, warm spaces for people to grow and thrive, especially those who are most vulnerable in our community. So I'm Maria Fatil, I'm Miss Universe Australia. Today and every day, I encourage you to remember my mum's words, every single act of generosity counts. I'll talk to you next time. Okay, yeah, sure. Actually, um, before joining this um, competition, I was actually very involved with uh, the advocacy of reproductive health, which I really care dearly. I started that when I started um, being a part of a sitcom, a show that was, you know, helped and supported by the BBC Media Action. It's called, it's a show called Love Nine. And inside I was an actress and also a presenter. And being in that show made me like learn more about reproductive health and gender equality. And then it starts to like teach me that, uh, making me realize, oh, how much my country needs it. And so, yeah, I really keep that and hold that cost dearly to me up until today and then I see Miss Universe Cambodia and I'm like oh it's a very powerful platform and actually we're also very new to um, uh, the pageant field and so I just want to bring that advocacy of mine that issues the cost I've been working on into you know within the platform of Miss Universe so yeah hi I'm Miss Universe Chile Daniela Nicolás and this year that it's ending was very special for me because due to the decrease in the workload caused by the pandemic, I was able to work on giving visibility to all the people that are suffering an autoimmune disease like me. For this coming year, I have proposed to deliver. I want to give joy to all the fans who, regardless of their life difficulties, have been supporting me with love and passion. You are the heart of Miss Universe, and that's why you are my 2021 resolution. I want to make you happy because that makes me happier. <laughs> so there are a lot of things that um, they train me with a lot of walk, speech and all that. But my, the most important part about this preparation is meeting people, understanding different aspects of 
life of society and how you can use your you can use this platform to bring change in your life in your society's life and people in general i'm also learning a lot about our country and the socio economic status mm. i think it's very important not for me for this year but for my life and the position that i want to hold in the future i would always try to bring in a little part of this and to always champion women's rights no matter where i go so that's something that i'm doing i'm also learning a lot about the north east and the south of the, of the country because it's not well represented and i feel um, that's something that i want to put out there so i'm doing that Hello everyone, my name is Dusa Wenlui, Miss Universe Myanmar 2020. First of all, I would like to wish Happy New Year to you all. In 2020, we all experienced the most and prepared situation of our life. A year that reminds us to prepare for anything and take nothing for granted. A year that makes us stronger together as humans to overcome any obstacles in the future. And a year to see no time for hate, but for love. I want other kids to realize that for those who are privileged enough, I realize to struggle in life. And I saw education as a gate pass to success. And I am hoping that each and every student would have that same mindset. That regardless of what status you have right now, you will be able to achieve better in life, to do greater in life. And the education would bring, would give you the right weapon to conquer life. And after all, knowledge is and always will be power. And I hope that the youth of today will realize how important educating ourselves will be. Bullying is the use of physical force, treat, or coercion to abuse, intimidate, or aggressively dominate others on a frequent and habitual basis. Bullying can be social, verbal, physical, or cyber. The social bullying is exclusion by how so that the victims feel unable to live up to the expectations of others, feeling inferior to the social. Verbal bullying is the most common type of bullying. It is the use of words to intimidate the victim. In this type, the aggressor spreads rumors, humiliates, and constantly provokes the victim. I know that if you if you win the Miss Universe title, then you fly to another country, you fly to New York, and you live your life there for an entire year. I would say the most obvious and glaring answer would be I would lose connection with my family for a little bit because right now I'm living with my family. So that would be the biggest loss. But in saying that, I think it's also the free time because the nature of my work is I have a lot of waiting around. Uh, I actually work in uh, commercials, I do TV commercials, I do print ads. So whenever you're going for your casting, you gotta wait for the clients to get back to you to see whether you're gonna get the job or not. And then once you get the job and you're on set. So I think once you assume the role of Miss Universe, there's no more waiting. So there's no more free time whatsoever. There's just going to be boom, boom, interviews doing this and, and you know, highlight reels and whatever. There's just too much of that. And so I think that would be the biggest thing. Embarrassed knowing that I don't feel confident enough to film my video without any base on and contour and highlight and blush. And I just thought myself like, you are gonna film this video without a base on and you are gonna show people that, you know, I also have insecurities and I also need to learn how to embrace them. And to every single girl out there that, you know, wears no makeup on a daily basis, I take my hat off to you because I always felt like if I don't wear a full face of makeup, I don't look my best and feel my best according to myself. And I just reminded myself that I'm a lot more than that and then the foundation on my skin. So I'm going to embrace my flaws. And if anyone else there is looking at this, I hope that you learn how to embrace your flaws as well. Um, because at the end of the day, it could have been a lot worse. And if you have skin that's not even that bad, just, you know, flaunt it and work with it. As Miss Universe Thailand, I really want to advocate on the cause that I really believe in and that is mental health. 
because in Thailand, I feel like mental health is not yet well understood. And I want to be the voice to tell people that mental health is just normal. It's like catching a cold. And I want people to be more informed of the different illnesses. And that's why I came up with my advocacy, which is called Have You Listen? Because I feel like we live in a society where nobody's really listening to one another. And I want to change that. I want people to start listening more. Listen with the focus of really understanding, not just to reply. In light of recent and past events that have occurred in our nation, we know that racism is a hot topic right now. And racism is experienced so often and not just by the people that you see fighting for their lives on the news. But I was given the slightest glimmer of hope this morning as I get on Facebook to see so many people not of color speaking up and speaking it out for people of color. And to, it, to see these people no longer being silent and compliant has truly opened my heart and warmed it so much to know that we, it may be a small step, but it's still a small step in the right direction. And it gives me hope to know that one day that our voices will have made a difference and that hopefully we will see true equality within our nation. So I'll say, it's going to take a continuous effort from us all to truly see change. But I hope that one of these days that we'll be able to see each other through God's lens and to know that we are all each of his perfect creations. He loves us all so much, so why can't we love each other? The winner of pageants should be someone that can stand next to girls and say, you can do it because I did it. Don't you let anyone tell you you're not uniquely and specially made. If anyone deserves it, you deserve it. And you go out there and you think you deserve it. That's your mantra. Thank you for watching and for more pageant news and updates, please don't forget to subscribe.